Okay, so I've been meaning to do just this little bit of an update on my adjuster, um, which uh, is out there for you guys to either print the files. I'll have links to the files in the description, or you can buy the adjuster from me. It will come to you already ready to mount up. Uh, the link to that will be on eBay, or will be below the link to eBay, whatever. Anyway, so this is something that we want to, to go over a problem that you might have if you have limit switches. So we're gonna go over here. Let's get the laser connected. And we're gonna hit our home button. We find that one. And then we hit that. We don't want that. Okay, so this is how you fix that. And you will have this happen with, you know, just out of the box, I had to adjust my uh, my x-axis. You know what? I have a hard time ever remembering whether it's x, y, whatever. This axis, I had to adjust that because uh, it came where the uh, the laser module was running the air assist hose up against the rail over here. So. I've already had to adjust that one. Now we want to adjust this one because we no longer have enough clearance. This uh, adjuster, it does eat up about 10 millimeter of space from this axis, which sucks, but at least it's a better adjuster than those thumb screws. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna move the laser as far forward as we can. I've got also a little leg on the inside, so. Sorry, noise behind me, got distracted. I got a little leg on the inside here and one on that side down there, which eats up another little bit of space on my laser, but my laser has been expanded a little, so it's not a big deal to me. Uh, if you're on factory legs, your legs are gonna be on the outside. It's not a really big deal. But, so what we're gonna do is move the laser up here to where we want it to be, where we want it to stop. And we're going to take our fancy little Allen wrench. I don't know what size this Allen wrench is. It came with the laser. Or it came with one of my printers. I can't remember, but this is the size Allen wrench you need. I don't know, yes. We are going to carefully unplug the limit switch. And if you look down here, let's see. That screw there is the one that we want to loosen up. So we're going to loosen that just a little. We're not taking it off. This is really hard to do through a camera, surprisingly, especially with a cat climbing on me. Get off. All right, so once we've got that loose, we're gonna slide it forward and you're gonna be very careful, very slow and listen very closely. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but you're going to slide it and you get it real close and see. If you guys can hear it, then great. If you can't hear it, I'm sorry. You're gonna move it up just to the point that the uh, that it contacts the switch, and then you're going to tighten it down a little bit. And by tighten it, I mean tighten it. I loosened it. I may make this look kind of difficult, but that's because doing it one-handed is kind of difficult. So the best thing to do is to snug it up just a little bit because it's only one bolt. Once you get a little snug, then you can adjust it left and right to make sure everything's nice and smooth and free and not hitting anything. Oh man, that thing is filthy.
We'll grab our limit switch wiring, carefully plug it back in, and then we're going to move our laser head away. Let it all fire back up. Come back up here, reconnect. Hit our home button. And then if you look in here, this is something that you need to keep in mind is that it always rebounds three by three millimeter. Look up here, our X is at three, Y is at three. And you can actually, if you're wanting to start from true zero, you can manually adjust it to true zero. It doesn't really serve much purpose. I just do all my jobs planning to start at three by three or more likely that's my zero that's the benefit of having a larger area you can just make it however big you want anyway if uh you have any questions you can hit me up in one of the facebook groups you can comment below whatever you want to do and i will do my best to help you Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a wonderful evening.